Minnesota coming off that win over Washington. Blues a win over the Chicago Blackhawks. St. Louis has won 15 of its last 22 games. Is currently the first wild card team in the Western Conference, but can jump over Nashville. Ryan O'Reilly, the Blues captain, wins that faceoff and tipped out by Braden Shen. Now it's picked up by Connor Brown. In comes Brown, throws it back. Paul in shoots, and Billy Huso makes a great stop on him. Back at the point, Nick holding a drive, and that's gloved by Huso. Paul, it's a little simple little three-on-two play. Connor Brown looking for options through the triangle. This stick right back to Paul. He tries to... And now Colton Pareko knocked down, plays it ahead. Pareko's role has really changed for St. Louis, Jamie. With the departure of the triangle, he's getting most of the defensive starts, defensive zone starts. A quick chance, Murray with a glove save. Barbashev takes that lead pass from Falk. Moved across to Perron. Perron drops it back. And then comes Walter with a chance. And a good chance wow. there for Jake Wallman dashing in. He gets around Parker Kelly right there, takes it from forehand to backhand, tries to elevate it. Vladimir Tarasenko plays it back for Krug. Tori Krug. Back in for Tarasenko. Loose in front of backhand. Shot stopped by Murray. And he'll hang on. To elevate that on the glove side. Nice pass by Tori Krug to find Tarasenko. He pushes off a Zaitsev. I think there's a lot of emotions that get involved, but certainly he's been fantastic for the Blues and playing in that top six role. Now the draw. Shen scores! Shen finds a loose puck and snaps it by Murray to give St. Louis the lead. This is just a seeing eye shot for it. Braden Shen's going to grab this, and it's a rolling puck off a loose puck battle. It's a zone draw here. Ryan O'Reilly, it hits the right skate. Nick Paul tries to bat at it as he's battling for position with Ryan O'Reilly, and, and Shen's just going to fire this towards the net. That's a screenshot. See Matt Murray? Look at track it. There's a lot of bodies there. He's in the middle of the net just trying to find where that puck had dropped. But David centers it. Knocked away by Murray. Loose in front. Tarasenko couldn't quite reach it. Now Mikola. Back for Butchnevich. A little backhand shot by Thomas. Murray sprawls. And somehow Tarasenko missed on that. Back for Krug. Rink wide to Falk. Couldn't get that shot away as he's being watched by Formanton. Falk fakes it down to Cairo. Burns it back in front and Falk with a quick chance. Stopped by Murray. Uh, you miss Batherson. You miss Josh Norris who would be the trigger man of the one-timer through the scene. So now no Shabbat. Exactly. Picked up now by Stutzla working in. Tim Stutzla with a chance. Scores! What a goal by Tim Stutzla. And just like that, the game is tied at one. This all starts from the breakout, a set breakout. Branstrom's just going to fire a little touch pass by Brady Kachuk, and then Stutzla, a little stutter step, but he drives hard, and he waits and goes around Huso, who reaches out with the left leg, but doesn't get far enough across. And Stutzla's going to slide it in just inside the left post. Of course, St. Louis had a guy who was a pretty good trigger man for a long time. <laughs> and Thomas feeds it back across. Here's Krug with it. Brett Hall among the best there ever was. Yep. Here's Butch Navin. Drops it back. Tarasenko shoots, scores! Tarasenko puts it over the shoulder of Murray. And the power play goal restores the St. Louis lead. And Tarasenko, who had two good looks in the first period, that Murray doesn't track until the last second. With a little bit of traffic. Tarasenko, little curl and drag. You see, he fires it in between Zaitsev and Gambrell. And he goes underneath the bar. Looks down for Thomas. Broken up by Zub. Kairu. Back for Krug to Falk. Justin Falk in, holds. Murray down. Falk still with it. Drops that back for Buchnevich. Feeds across, Tarasenko taps it down, in comes Thomas, scores! On the feed from Tarasenko, and the Blues take a 3-1 lead. Constant motion, Justin Falk's going to pinch down, start moving the puck around their support. Which Nemec is going to throw it through the seam to Tarasenko, who slides it right to Thomas, who's going to create a little better angle for himself, step out to the slot and bury that underneath the bar for a 3-1 lead for the St. Louis Blues. That time up there by Bortuzzo. Gambrell reaches back for it to Bishop. Thanks it back to Branch with a shot score! Tripped in front by Kelly. And Ottawa's back where he wants. Start 
switch off the floor check back to the point and a redirect in the high slot by Parker Kelly. The Senators looking for some energy to get back into this game. Kelly does a good job. Bishop's going to get it back to Brandstrom. In the high slot, Kelly gets available. A little redirect. Now Tarasenko works in. Shoots at the goal post. Rebound. Thomas, that was blocked. And Nick Holden just saved the goal. Oh. Foreman's out of the box. Poked that ahead and now knocks it down. Now shrink back to the front of the net. This is the post off the blocker. And then right there, Nick Holden with the club save. Falk took him off the puck. Barbashev up for Perron. Finds Barbashev, drops it back to Saad. Brandon Saad shoots, pad saved by Murray. Rebound loose in front. Curve reaching for it. That's knocked away. Murray down. And Josh Brown pokes it back in, and Matt Murray will freeze the loose puck. Speed off the rush. Opportunity. Good right pad save. Good readjustment. Now, Josh Brown trying to help out. Ottawa has one five on three goal this year on seven tries. Stutzla feeds it back door. Thomas got a stick on that. Franson feeds it in for Connor Brown. Slides it back. Stutzla hit the goal post. Franson in shoots. That's blocked. Loose puck in front. And sprawling Oscar Sundquist sends it down the ice. In this game on the back door, five on three setup. Connor Brown, little saucer pass to Stutzla on the back door, hits the post. Perron got spun around. Penalty coming now to Paul. In comes Mikkel, he shoots short side, and Murray got a piece of that, but St. Louis is going back to the power play here. He tries to step in on David Perron, the free hand, a little bit of a reach, spins him. Mikkel still gets a real good look. Buchnevich to crew. Back in for Buchnevich, across he goes to Thomas, holds and shoots at the outside of the post. Thomas back with it. Thomas with two good looks. Little time and space. Tries to go short side off the post. Five of the last six games here. The Sunquist has it. Hard back door pass for Saad. Missed. And now Brandon Saad back for Falk. Tees it up and shoots. A rocket goes wide. Back in front. Sunquist scores. The bounce off the end boards goes to Sunquist. After Falk pounded. Open net. But off the boards right there. Goes over top of the back of Matt Murray. Sunquist is going to slide right in on the back door for a freebie. It's Costin who makes that play possible. Murray tries to get across, seal the post, knowing that the, the heavy shot from Falk is coming right off the dasher. Costin is able to get it right over Murray for a freebie. Vladimir Tarasenko. Do that back in front, but McDavid waits for it. Back down to Thomas, but Tarasenko scores, and Tarasenko's got his second to an empty net, and it's a 5-2 St. Louis lead. Right from the turnover into the offensive zone, you can see this line just go to work. The freebie there for you. Tarasenko tries to come out short side, then gets available as the puck. This puck battle is won along the wall, and Tarasenko gets a nice shot, from a nice pass from Thomas. Gord, you talked about Thomas Tarasenko and their chemistry. And yeah, brought up by Sunquist with a goal here in the third period for St. Louis. Costin moves in. Back in for Sunquist in shoot. Look at that high and wide. Costin centers it. And Joshua reaching for that. And the good news for Ottawa is that fans will be allowed back in for the games on the weekend. The bad news is the 5-2 loss to the St. Louis Blues who have now won six of the last seven meetings between the two teams.